morning guys and welcome to today's video. Um, before we get started, I wanted to just take a second and tell you guys like how amazed I am about your comments. Like in a today's con in today's video about Sophia being uh, uh, shaken off of Finn, he basically just stood there and shook her until she fell off. Did he do that? Yeah. Well, I'll, I saw a lot of comments in the comment section people sharing their mistakes. People saying, oh, you know what, that happened to me and this is how come it happened and people being honest and sharing their mistakes. And it is amazing to me because you guys know that on social media, people really strive to only show the good stuff and showing who you are and showing your mistakes um, is such a big thing. Own it, sister, that's what I always say. And I love seeing that people besides us are owning all owning their unique journey so thank you guys so much for that it is amazing and let's get on with the video girls are homeschooling it summer school did you ever think you'd be doing summer school yeah so uh, today is the day that we have that we uh, cut the grass and get our little yard ready for the week essentially we have lessons at least once a week at our place so Sam has to go down and get the arena set up. Oh, they're, they're excited. I want to go in with the rooster. You think the rooster's going to scare you? So I really want to get this set up. Like, I really want them to have a bigger area soon. All in good time, though. They know Sophie is the one that feeds them often. So they think of her as the feed girl. Aww. Here is an update on our baby bird. So I've cleaned out his bed, taken away the box, and now he has this so that he can move around a bit more. He's got a heating pad underneath this blanket. I had to wash the cover because yeah, that happens. Um, so anyway, he has a little nest over here and he's really tiny. Like look how tiny he is, you guys, unless I zoom in on him, then he looks bigger. So he clearly, wants to eat oh got so much so basically i just put it on my finger and he gobbles it down do you see how his his lips are really wide at the sides Let's see if i can yeah it's because he's a baby so when you find a bird and you want to know how young it is you can tell if it's young by how big see the yellow right here on the sides how big it is Yeah, but one day that all that big thick yellow around his beak will disappear and it'll be like a nice streamlined beak. So he's starting to tell me he's done because he moves away he, or else he's trying to poop and he'll go to the edge and poop. But I'm beginning to think that there's something wrong with this guy. We might end up having to keep him forever. So you know how a lot of big birds will have a crop. A crop is something like in the front of them, kind of like their throat. Oh, that's great. You just shot poop out. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for missing me. But anyway, you know how lots of big birds will have a crop down the front, like kind of in their chest, and it's kind of like a second stomach or a first stomach. Well, this guy seems to have a crop. It's the same kind of material as a crop, and you can actually see through it, and that is the food. See that spot there? That's his food. And when that empties, um, I know that he needs to be fed. So, And it does empty. The more I feed him, the bigger it gets. It's kind of in a weird spot, like it's kind of off center, not kind of where a crop would go. Um, and I've never seen that before in a little tiny bird like this, ever. And we've raised a few, so I don't know what that is. It does seem to make him a little bit lopsided, a little bit like he falls over a little. And yeah, so I, I don't know if that's going to be something that resolves itself. And usually when they have a crop, they get fur on it, like, and maybe he is going to get fur on it, but... 
Yeah, he doesn't have fur on it yet. So I don't know if he has some kind of weird issue. Do you have some weird issue, baby bird? Do you? Tell me the truth. Anyways, he's so super tiny, so super adorable. Watch, there he goes. Let's see if you guys, oh, oh. He's really an uh, uh, outgoing bird though. He like is in control of his little life. Let's see if he'll. He loves his bed. He loves his heating pad. Aw, he loves to be cuddled too. He's trying to climb into my hand to cuddle up and go to sleep. He doesn't like to be alone. And he likes to poop everywhere. That is poop in his cage. That is a risk that you run um, when you rescue wild animals because um, sometimes they actually do have problems. One time we rescued this adorable chipmunk. You may have seen it somewhere on our channel um, already. There is a video of it. It was adorable and we hand fed him and as time went on you could tell that he couldn't see. He was blind. We rescued him from a cat and he was mauled from a cat and yeah he got blind. So obviously we're not ever going to release him so we gave him to a friend and she bought this big huge massive cage and he runs all around that whole entire thing and he knows how to get to his food and she takes really good care of him but yeah sometimes when you rescue wild animals it doesn't go completely as planned and you end up having to keep them and this little bird I'm just going to wait and see uh, how things go but depending on what happens we may have to keep him too. Hey handsome. Why do I think you only like me for food? Hey? Eh? Do you guys remember what used to be here? I'm going to get my clippers out now and clip all these little things. But this whole paddock is empty now. No more junk. Anyway, uh, we came down to poop pick the field. So we've had those people here working on the farm. Like working on getting rid of some of the stuff the last few days. Like four days. And I feel kind of uncomfortable coming down here and being down here while they're here. So I feel like disconnected from our horses the last couple of days and I hate it. Oh my goodness. Are you coming to me? Did you miss me the last couple of days? Yesterday, like at night, in the afternoon when it gets really hot, we put our horses in and we le and we left yesterday. And I didn't know, like, the horses seemed really unsettled today. Like, Willow seemed really off yesterday, like, stressed. And so did Stella. And I was like, Sam, something happened in that barn yesterday because they're, like, really off. And I can hear they have some kind of motor going. And definitely, they're probably not in love with it. Aww. See, he does love you. He has a bloody spot. You have a bloody spot? <gasps> what the heck is that from? I don't know. A bloody spot. I don't even understand. What happened when we weren't here yesterday? Don't t don't pull on it. Not pulling on it. Here, Finn. Stop touching him. Gabby and I both think, like watching the footage of, of Sophie falling, we both feel like Finn was having fun. Like before she asked him to canter and he was going around that corner, he was anticipating it. Like I could tell he was ready to go. So I think that, I think, I think that he was just excited and wanted to go. Boy. Well, did you guys might not have heard this. I might have clipped it out of the video, but 
basically whenever Gabby brags about her horse, Sophie says, Gabby, your horse is always perfect. <laughs> and Finn is a work in progress. We should give Willow a good brush, get some of that extra fur off of her. We can't actually go in the arena or even in the barn too much because they're working in there. So that's what makes it hard. I hate this. I hate this part. <laughs> Yeah, we need to get our fly masks out. A lot of you guys are saying that the horses are scared of the camera, and I really do believe it because um, whenever I bring it out, they turn away from me, they move away. Like Stella's letting me love her for the longest time, and then oh, and then Gabby stole her away from me because she has grass. A lot of you guys are upset that we have them a little bit separated. He's still right next to them. He can still see them. Be with them just a little tiny wire is separating them and he's a lot happier that way I, I don't know why I don't even pretend to know why but he literally is so much more calm and relaxed and when I bring him in this arena when I bring him here inside with the horses he literally goes insane he goes and I just don't think he wants to be in charge of them good job Sam this down. he hooked up our gate so that it's on this and now we're just gonna get a wheel so we can move it better you are working too hard it's hot weather yeah it is really hot you guys So this is what happens. Oh, you eat healthy, 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 and then you come to the trailer and eat crap. It's we, cooler outside then. We are at the trailer and we have acquired a few things. My boys all spent the weekend here with their families and friends. Hey, they left us yeah, deodorant. We got some deodorants. <laughs> we got, we found a dollar, so they paid us. But we are here and we are headed oh, to the pool, because you all know that's what you do when you're at the trailer, you swim. We left Sam at home and I feel bad. I feel bad when we do that, but you know what? Sometimes somebody's got to sacrifice. No, I'm just joking. He stayed home because the people were still working on the barn. On the barn and he wanted to make sure the horses were okay. So, yeah, that happened. Like brainstorming since he's out in the grass field and it's hot. He's probably like, yes, they're gone. I finally get some time to myself. Sometimes you need a time for yourself so and he's off work right now he's going back in august and he's used to not having so much of us around so it's probably a good thing nobody's in the pool you guys nobody's in the pool sophie run it's cold though why is it cold is it good oh my god what do you think yeah it's a hot day I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with a splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some Queen B2 Bass is going boom boom If you're looking for some crazy Look at how clean it is. The last time we were down here, there was like a bunch of pollen and stuff, but it got cold and then it got clean. Ever since I cantered Stella up that hill, ever since ca ever since Stella cantered Laura up that hill, I my tailbone has been aching me. So I'm kind of waiting for that to heal up a bit again.
So my favorite thing to do is just sit here and read. I read a book and relax and get a sunstroke. Get sunstroke? No, I do not get sunstroke. That's what she did last year. I did get sunstroke recently. When was that? At the horse show. Yeah. Yeah. You can really get horse oh, sunstroke there. Oh, you guys, it is horse show week. So we got a lot going on this week. This is why we're here today. Oh, yeah. Shayla, what's happening this week? Um You have a horse show? Yes. Yeah. And it's gonna be extreme heat. So bring your A game. Cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time, sipping strawberry lime. You know I wanna share it with you. Pace is going boom boom. Baby, if you're looking for some crazy, I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line for the water slide. on a rescue mission. Can you see her? Gabby, I can't see you. Can you guys see her? She's rescuing a turtle. They're coming. I feel nervous. I pulled right over though. But yeah, she is lost. I can't see her anywhere. She comes in this car and she's got the turtle with her. She's in trouble. Basically, we, oh, there she is. She saved him. Whenever we see a turtle crossing the road, we always try and drag him backwards to another spot or pull him forwards and not get bit. Because I've, I've seen turtles get crushed before. And you have to learn spacing with Brandon. Because, did you save him? Yeah. Did he try and bite you? No, he just hissed and went in the shell like, oh my God. <laughs> Gabby He's is not scary. A snapping turtle. Gabby is scary, you guys. <laughs> It's getting kind of crazy up in here. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.